Aurora lights. Now you're seeing what the sky is looking like tonight in the United Kingdom. It is magical to see. We also got images coming in from Scotland. Now partially this is happening because of the earth and what it's experiencing right now. We're at a rare extreme level with the G5 geomagnetic solar storm. So we need to break that down a little bit more. Let's, <laughs> yes. uh, let's get an expert in here because we are not that yeah. person. Jeff Ray is <laughs> what, what's happening, Jeff? Explain this. Do you guys still have your glasses from when you were looking at the eclipse? I yeah. do. So tomorrow, use them and look at the sun, and you're going to be able to see what's going on because it's from a cluster of sunspots that's on the surface of the sun. Now, this is a live shot, or reasonable live. I think they updated every 10 minutes of the sun currently NASA takes, and it's this region right here that where you'll see this cluster. That's about 19 times the diameter of the Earth, by the way. And from that, from that spot where, where the sunspots are, we're at the near the height of the solar cycle. It's about every 11-year cycle. But at the heart of that, there is going to be these huge coronal mass injections, and there's been several of them of the last week. In fact, we just had one yesterday, and it's from there this plasma goes ejecting out through space and interacts with our geomagnetic field over the planet. So let me take, show you this map. Now, if you want to see this, you probably going to have to head north because that blue line would represent you might see it at the horizon and everything in that green area that's where you actually have the chance to see one of the better northern light shows in history you can see clear skies over parts of Oklahoma and Arkansas but the real clear skies are where you go further north and have a much better chance by the way of seeing this